Hello and welcome back. So, we got Yuri in the team. Wow. What a hero. Yes. I can't say the same about Dudarev. He's just, um, well, he's still alive, I suppose, at something. But let's just check out this area and we're in the clouds. Can't see down. We only see that, like, they're dumping water uh, to whoever's downstairs. Maybe sewage water, we don't know. Stay close. We don't really care that much. Hold on. But this yes. is a good looking place. Uni pale skin. You. Go over here real quick, will you? Oh yeah, just go over to every single merchant. Uh we can't resist, way. right? Are you talking to me? Well, who else would I be talking to? You're the only one in this accursed lair of cretins who looks worth having a conversation with. Oh, fair enough. Well, maybe that was a little too harsh. This place just hasn't been particularly inspiring ever since I arrived, and it vexes me. Hold on, should I know you? Are you with the Wolf Guard? Am I with the Wolf Guard? Ha! <laughs> if anything, the Wolf Guard is with me. I'm Burgol the Magnificent, the most fabled smith on EO. And no, no, no need to grovel or kiss my feet, I'm not into that kind of thing. But let us skip the small talk, shall we? I'm interested in that thing you're wearing, the charm. It looks interesting. Uh, tell me, where did a puny pale skin like you find such a treasure? That? Oh, it's a... Memento. A memento? Well, you seem to be misinformed. This is one of the most powerful relics on EO. Well, could be, one day, with my help. I don't follow. Oh, why am I not surprised? Uh, in simplest terms, what you're wearing seems to be an Imperian relic. Its power has faded, but I could reignite it, so to speak. Uh, let me have a look, will you? Why would you do that? You don't even know me. That's a little odd. How do I know you won't run off with it? <laughs> How do I know you won't run off with it? Run off? Are, are you joking? I'm Burgle the Magnificent, the greatest smith on EO. Circle Mage Gore himself entrusted me with the armory of the Orc. All right, all right, I get it. All right. But keep an eye on him. Okay, but don't break... Interesting. Yes, this might work. This might actually work. Do you know what a vengeful spirit is? A spirit that is vengeful? Ah, look at that! The puny pale skin has brains! Indeed, leaving aside the tragic stories of heartbreak and revenge, it's basically a ghost who refuses to die. Now, if you could manage to ascertain such a ghost's essence for me on your travels, I might be able to forge it into your relic and reawaken some of its powers. What do you say? What? You're brimming with gratitude? Why, no need to be. Just come back when you have the essence. Apparently there's one floating around in some grave in Windwall. I'll think about it. Excellent! Safe travels! Ah, and don't forget to burn the body of the deceased, will you? It's the only way to stop it from coming back to haunt you. Well, uh, thanks for that. Uh, wow. Do we want to buy anything? I don't know. Thank you, guys. Humans. So, this is how we can get better with the human faction. And get better stuff. Wait, what? I can get a wolf guard armor for free? Uncommon. Really? I can get it for free? Well, don't let me stop you if you want to get want to give it to me for free. That's just a clear upgrade. It's not going to be uh well, a massive upgrade, but it's it's an upgrade nonetheless. Good choice. Wow, really? Just giving away stuff for free just because I'm the part of the wolf guard. He didn't even say a damn thing. Just like hey, like he didn't, he didn't even say hey. Huh. <laughs> okay. Yes. I was just going over his stock and like, yeah, that's, that's zero. Scrolls? I'm sure I have just what you need. 
Emerald of Omnipotence. I'm not, I don't quite have the, the cash to pony up with that. Not quite have the cash. You know, they're selling good stuff, so this is like good stuff right away. But how the hell I'm gonna have the cash? Because I most certainly do not have the cash. Over here. Come again. Maybe we can come back here and try to trade. Turn. Again, I am... Yeah, this is Farewell. this is not happening. Hmm. Maybe this is the weapon trade uh, trader. Yes, yes, come he is. <laughs> yes, um... That's an upgraded bow. They ca cost the same. Anti-wildlife bow. So this deals... Like 20 more damage. And this deals. 10 more than that. You could take. Base damage. This is slightly better, but this is so much more expensive. And I'm not sure even we can buy the short bow, because the grand total of the stuff I can sell might make it possible. We can get like a thousand here. But it's like. It's, it's really pushing it. I don't know about the scroll of the Berserker. One time you scroll. Uh, I can all, I suppose I can sell, wait, my current weapon as well. The problem with this is that I might do this and I get a better weapon from my main character, but at the same time, uh, if I end up getting other characters, uh, Come again. then I Makes won't be able to replace their weapons for something else. I'm not sure if it is not, it's not worth the damn thing. This is complete garbage. And I might find something better. Let's just not buy anything, because that item is just not that good. Alright. I'm not sure it's worth, like, losing our entire inventory just to get 20 more damage with our main guy. Alright, Yuria. Hope you're good. ready. Then let's not keep Her Majesty waiting any longer. Lead on. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I must finish my current conversation? Yes! Twelve years. Has it really been that long since you last stepped through this gilded archway? When the Queen sent you to Imperia? It feels like another life. But twelve years are, are kind of long, you know? Especially if I was like 20 at a time, or... That doesn't really matter. 12 years are long, no matter what. Especially if I was like, I don't know, like 2 years old. Who knows? 12 years, like, yeah, that's a long time. They're here. Your Majesty, I present Circle Mage Iria Alethiel and General Aerith. Take a knee. Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Thank you. Rise. I have spent all day in Conclave, so let us skip the pleasantries. I assume you know about the Wolf Guard? An elite unit of elves, orcs, and humans that keeps the peace in Nortander. Corporal Tahar leads them. Led them. Tahar is dead. What? Who are you? Wraith Skadar. He is assisting us in another matter, but I will come to that later. What he says, however, is true. Corporal Tahar is dead. Alathiel? Yes. Several moons ago, there were rumors of disappearances at the southern border. Villages seemingly abandoned, people taken overnight. Tahar led a small contingent of the Wolf Guard to investigate, where they were ambushed. There were no survivors. We believe the attack was by a group of purity loyalists looking to avenge the death of their leader, Rondar Lacane. But we don't know for sure. As you may know, Tahar killed Lacane here in Greykeep to end the Purity War. The Purity? The Mage Killer is right. I thought they disbanded after the war ended. Mostly. But pockets of their cult escaped into the wilderness. Tahar's body was brought back to Greykeep and given a proper burial. As you can imagine, it was a great loss for the realm. But the Wolf Guard cannot remain without a leader. And that is why you are here, General Erev. You are the candidate. Wait, what? You heard me. What? 
This makes no sense. Really? You kill off Tahar. He was so badass. There is no way. I've I, I've known Tahar. I've known him well. There is no way he ever died. There's no way. There's no way. I cannot believe it. There's no way. There's no, he would never even come close to dying. He was so brokenly powerful. There's no way he would die. So this is a ruse. Also, now you just want to make me the same guy as Tahar, but kill off Tahar. I even have the same first name as him. This is a little odd. Queen Aelit. What's up? There's no way Tahar is dead. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? What happened to the purity loyalists? What happened to the purity loyalists responsible for Tahar's murder? The crown has put a bounty on their heads, but so far they've avoided capture. Also, keep in mind that we merely assume that X purity are behind Tahar's death. What do you mean? Who else could it have been? It is only a theory. We will speak about this later. Why me? I should have named myself Dude Tahar instead. <laughs> oh man, that would be so perfect. What? That's me! I... I'm not sure I understand, Your Majesty. What did I do to deserve this? You know who I am, and... Yes, General Aref, I know perfectly well who you are. And I know about that mysterious incident in Kavil of which you remember nothing. It does not change my decision. Also, you will have to prove yourself. Well, I don't have to prove myself that much. Considering I already got the job. Well, don't, don't, no, 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 no. Don't, don't try to talk yourself out of the job. It's an honor. I'll do as you command. I understand. Um, well, I, I, I do as you say. Und understood. Understood. How do you want me to prove myself? By taking care of an issue you have involuntarily already come in contact with. You will set out tomorrow. What's the mission? All right. What's the mission? Ambassador, if you please. One week prior to your arrival, there was an attack on a mining town called Draycott. It's on the border of Hallett and Nortander. By whom? Windholm dwarfs. And just like the incident on the Golden Road, everything about it is strange. Firstly, because Windholm and Nortander are at peace. And secondly, because in this case, the victims of the attack are dwarves themselves. Surface dwarves. Dwarves attacking dwarves? Why? Hold on, so dwarves raided a dwarven village? That doesn't make sense. Correct, it doesn't. Which is why we'll need to find out what's behind this. What do you want me to do? Simple. Go there, help the surfaces recapture Draycott. Then find out why the Windholmers would do such a thing so that we can resolve this as swiftly as possible. Please understand what is at stake here, General. Nortander has just been through a war, and the wounds are still mending. We cannot risk another one. Oh boy. And you're assigning this to me? The guy who's tormented by the past? I mean, maybe I don't look as, as like war crazy. But maybe I... Well, I suppose I'm kind of competent and don't look as war crazy. But I still don't know the character that, that well. What troops do I have at my disposal? Orcs, elves, and humans? I'll, I'll do my best to, to get prepared. Then I'd best get prepared. Do that. Circle Major Lathiel and Wraith Skadar will accompany you. Lathiel, introduce the General to the troops. Understood. Meet me at the war table if you want an introduction, General. Ah, and one more thing. Your Majesty? I believe in second chances. Prove me right. The audience is concluded. <laughs> Don't get to say to that. Alright, this is done. Fuck off. So, apparently we gotta General, talk with Yuria. If you have a second, there's also something I need your help with. Yuria cannot join my party. Really? Like, what is this? All these guys are... are can just, we can't have mercenary guy join what my party? Need? What? Okay. You said you needed something? Uh, yes. Thanks for making the time, General. Please excuse me in advance. I don't usually involve my personal life in my work. This isn't official business. No, it isn't. It's about my sister, Jerfina. 
she was in Leonon when the Bloodburn hit. When. <laughs> wow. Shot him down super fast. I don't run errands. Isn't that when the Wolfguard destroyed the village? Isn't that when the Wolfguard destroyed the village? Yes, under the esteemed command of General Noria. Except, they didn't just destroy the village, they purged it. Better to kill every last citizen than let a disease get out of hand. I understand you're upset, but what does this have to do with me? The blood burn is over. Noria is dead. I'm sorry, General. As I said, I'm not used to discussing personal affairs. Always lock it up, Jairus, my tutors would say, but... Anyway, I don't care about revenge. You're right, there's no point. But... Uh, I need to know what happened to my sister. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm kinda happy to help, uh... Ambassador Jairus, but... Like, not exactly sure how can I help now. You don't know what happened to her? Um... Wait, you don't know what happened to her? I know she's probably dead, but uh, as far as my family and I are concerned, she she left one day and never came back. We just don't know. Uh, did she get sick, or did the soldiers... How can I help? Why do you think I can help? Because there are a group of survivors who might know the truth. After the village was destroyed, I hired a guy to look for Jafina. He didn't find her, but he did find these survivors. And? And they fled at the sight of him. It's the only lead I have. Please, could, could you try talking to them? I doubt they would say no to the wolf guard. Mm, where can I find them? Well, ultimately, I kind of want to say both, that you probably should let this go, but, you know, if I run into it... You know, I'm like, okay. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Where can I find these survivors? My guy tracked them to the wind wall outskirts. They moved around after the war, but they should still be there. Oh, thank you for this, General. Tiara's light go with you. Uh, thanks, uh, Jairus. I'll, I'll look into this matter. Oh. I don't want to use that. Alright, let's save. Find my... Okay, let's open the... the wow. Okay. We can get money. We can get a... A really good bow. That's actually worth a lot more. One-handed spear. Dexterity. Uh, melee weapons deal more damage. So I think we're just gonna go with this... Composite bow. Which is gonna act as an upgrade. It's more, worth more than the money. And that's what we're gonna get for sure. Reset all attribute and ability points. So, potion of fresh start. So, you can use that. Well, obvious. Well, I shouldn't... <laughs> what the hell? Why am I trying to explain obvious things? Okay, let's take that. Okay, so we're going with that for now. If I wanna change my character, I suppose we can. I suppose at this point, I just made him a like a big ass fighter. Like there's not much we can do with uh, do that have here. But I do have other characters. This mercenary, can Stay I? Stay close. This way. Well, I can somehow click on them, but... I don't think I can control them, but I can just... I can look at them. I can most certainly look at them. <laughs> Yuria? Holy crap. So, if Yuri is like she was in the previous game... She is a ranger healer. Yes, she is. <gasps> okay. What is this? Shimmering arrow. And who is this guy? Rate. Uh, yeah, 
interesting. So he has zero in uh dex and strength. He's all about intelligence and willpower. But his skills are a little odd. I don't know. I might need a longer time to fi figure this out. I don't know about this archer evocation character. Seems like an odd choice. Odd combo. Hard to make work. One, we, one thing we cannot respect is their trees. Well, we can respect the trees, but we can't change their trees to something else. Their classes are fixed. Alright. Uh, so. Raze. Go ahead. Do the rev. We need to talk with Raze. What is it? Let's talk later, shall we? <laughs> well, okay. Uh, well, that was uh, quick. Oh, what? Big stuff. Forged by ice. All right. You came. Good. Ready for an introduction? Yes. Yes. Good. Come along. Yes. Out of the way. This is the Wolf Chamber. It's where Tahar used to plan missions and discuss politics with the Orcish and Elven commanders. Now, I could tell you all about them myself, but I suggest you have a chat with them first. Just let me know when you're done. Ah, oh, and you might also want to introduce yourself to your soldiers. I saw two of them sauntering around here earlier. I think this would make more sense if I was Yuria. Like, come on. Why am I running this this group? Why me? Why do the rev? <laughs> Why not Yuria? Come on. She she's gotta trump me in experience. In and in everything. In, in every way. Hello. By the Ellen's reins, you gave me a start. Who are you? General Arev. I'm the new commander of the Wolf Guard. Oh, I see. Yes, we were told. I assume you came to familiarize yourself with the Guard? Yes. Good. Well, I'm Elian Valath, Scryer of the Moorhir, and the one in charge of the Elven Division of the Wolf Guard. But you probably knew that already. I did. What's the state of the Moorhir troops? Our state? Absent. Almost all of our forces are currently up in Utran, helping to secure our new settlement. And it'll be some time until they're back. I hate to say it, but for now and the near future, you'll have to make do with the human part of the guard. Listen, um, I have a question. That dark elf that's been walking around the keep, would you know who he is? I've been told he was at your audience with the Queen today. I don't, but he'll accompany us on our mission, so I might find out. Ah, fair enough. Then do let me know when you find out. I'm curious. Either way, I'll be out on King's Vantage if you need anything. Good luck on that mission, General. My prayers will be with you. Good to know you. Uh, the creepy Dark Elf? I don't know about this guy. He is... Less creepy looking, but still kind of creepy looking even like this. Huh? Who are... Wait. You're the new General, aren't you? How did you know? I saw you and that caravan come in last night. I heard what happened on the Golden Road. Dwarves attacking humans. They were either completely hammered or completely out of their minds. Anyway, you'll be replacing Tahar, won't you? Good thing the Fire Wielders won't be fighting for the Wolf Guard for the next few moons. Otherwise, you'd be in for a rough time. Why would I be in a rough time? How could I replace the heart? That makes no sense. Why would I be in for a rough time? Well, mainly because we orcs don't care as much about titles as we do deeds. Tahar earned our respect, whereas you're still a blank slate. Ah, and on that note, you should probably talk to the Circle Mage, Iria. What about? Well, I overheard your audience with the Queen, and knowing Iria, I don't think she's very happy about the decision to replace Tahar with you. The two of them were really close. As friends, I mean. But it's best if you ask her yourself. Either way, all the best on your mission, General. I'll see you around. How much I'm gonna replace the harp? 
I'm, I'm gonna take the hearts girl as well. <laughs> this feels so weird. Replacing my own character. Uh, with a character that's kind of played up very similarly. Well, not, not, not the combat aspect of it, but... Damn. Yes? Who are you? General Arev, the new commander of the Wolf Guard. I thought I might drop by to introduce myself. Ah, right. You're the replacement. I heard about you. Well, I'm Master Sergeant Ralkin, the Wolf Guard's quartermaster. Pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Listen, General. I was actually looking for you. I know you're probably already swamped, but there are two important matters we should discuss. One's about these mercenaries from Wolfgar the Ambassador hired. The other about a disappearance within our ranks. What do you say? We can talk about this now or later outside. Um... What do you mean by disappearance in our ranks? What do you mean by disappearance in our ranks? What happened? Well, where do I start? It's about one of the Wolf Guard's engineers, Marcus. He went missing a couple moons ago. Heard a search party went looking for him, but they didn't return either. You want me to look into this? If you can spare the time, yes. Strictly speaking, it's not your direct responsibility. But word has it you'll be traveling a lot. So, maybe you could make some time? What do you know about this, his disappearance? What do you know about his disappearance that makes you so worried? Marcus wouldn't just disappear, and neither would that search party. I heard they tracked him to an old silver mine southeast from Greykeep called the Silver Drift Hollow. Something must have happened there. Now look if I pass that way. No, no, no I'll find them. Alright, I'll find him and the search party. That's all I can ask. Thanks, General. You mentioned something about the mercenaries from Wolfgar? Farewell. Oh, no, Good I didn't day, want General. to press that. God damn it. What about this guy? I'm listening. Huh? Who are you? Mm, you're a new commander? Yeah, that's right. You're a new commander. Wait, you're the general from Imperia, Erev. Her Majesty already informed us about her decision. I truly hope she knows what she's doing. Corporal Tahar was a great leader. I mean no disrespect, of course. Forgive me, General. I highly suspect that I just got the job because they want this job to be do done poorly. I, I don't feel like I deserve this. I'm just a second-rate archer with uh, that's haunted by the war. Why make me a replacement of Tahar? I'll prove my worth. Don't worry about me. There's nothing to forgive. I'll prove my worth. Understood. I heard that we'll be heading out on a mission soon. Is that true? Yes, tomorrow at first light. You'll be briefed soon. I see. Well, thank you for visiting us, General. I appreciate it. Tiara's blessings. I'm just taking your bag. Don't worry about it. It's just a uh, routine search. Over here. So, you want the job? Done already? Hmm. What's your role if role in the Wolf Guard? I want to know about your relationship with the heart. You're a circle mage. So what exactly is your role in the Wolf Guard? Officially? None. But I guess you could call me a counselor of sorts. Plus, the circles and the Wolf Guard's responsibilities overlap. We oversee the use of magic, they oversee the country's safety. Both are diplomats, so to speak. So, since Her Majesty ordered it, I guess I'll be sticking around for a while longer. That is, unless you have a problem with that. What? On the contrary, your advice will be helpful. On the contrary, your advice will be helpful. Well, I'll do my best. I'll look at his silver tongue. The Dark Elf rates Gadar. What do you know about him? Something I've been meaning to ask you. What do you know about that Dark Elf? Wraith. Not much. We briefly worked together during the Purity Wars. He helped us resolve a problem for the Morhir Elves and then left. Um, can I trust him? Mm -hmm. Is he trustworthy? In order to answer that question, I'd need to know what he's here for. I don't think his intentions are bad, though. The Queen has good intuition when it comes to people. 
But why did I get the job? After 12 years of not seeing the queen. I think I'm done. Let's prepare for the mission. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, let's go. I think I'm done. Let's prepare for the mission. Sure. Just let me know when you want to head out and I'll be there. Anything else? Um, Zara said you're not too happy with the queen's decision. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. Zara said you're not too happy with the queen's decision. Did he? Come on, you loose lips. You could have just said, uh, some little birds told me. I know you're still upset about the heart. I'm sorry for your loss. That might piss her off. Leave your personal feelings aside. Crap. Um. That's a little bit assuming, but yeah, that's fine. Look, I know you and Tahar were close. I'm sorry for your loss. <sighs> Thanks. It's just... Tahar gave so much for this country. So bloody much. And now here you are, the new leader of the Wolf Guard, handpicked by the Queen herself. Replacing a hero like you'd replace an old pair of boots. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't know you, but this just feels... wrong. That's why I like you, Yuria, so much. Kinda sounds creepy that way, but like... I'm also the reincarnation of Tahar. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't my choice, this is the military, I understand. Uh, I have yet to prove myself. Uh, that, that, that doesn't really matter at this point. Well, that's kind of a non-answer. I understand. That's a non-answer. It wasn't my choice. That's a non-answer as well. These are all non-answers. I know. Well, I guess I understand is the closest. I understand why you'd feel that way. I guess all I can hope for is that you give me a chance. I'll do my best. Anyway, if you want to, we can have a chat after the mission. I need some time to clear my head. I'll see you on the morrow, at dawn. Find yourself a good horse in the meantime. This will be a tough ride. Alright. Wait, what? Cleansing trinket? Leave Greykeep via the world map. Um. Oh yeah, that's that's it. Oh yeah, we can we can leave the throne room, but maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I'm just gonna look into the abilities of all these uh, potential followers that I have. Maybe I'm probably I need to select to only take three of them. Oh, that's actually my level, so we are almost level three as well. Anyway, guys, this is a good time to take a break. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.